Hey guys, what's up? It's Charlie here and today we're going to be looking at 10 tips to spot fake products. We live in a world where people love to shop. This can be for everyday things like cell phones or for more luxury things like designer footwear. But if people are prepared to spend a ton of money on things, prepare for there to be fakes. Watch this video to the end and never be scammed again and tell if your friends are showing off fake products. Before we get into it, be sure to subscribe to Little Things for more amazing content daily. And why not also subscribe and hit the bell for top 10s and comment done for a shout out at the end of our next video. Coming in at number 10 is Rolex. When it comes to expensive jewellery, watches are number one. They used to be worn for the purpose of, I don't know, telling the time? But nowadays, it's just fashionable to have some giant diamond monstrosity on your wrist. There are many fake watches out there, from online to the streets. But the most faked watch brand in the entire world is Rolex. They're very popular amongst the rich, but sometimes people get scammed and are sold fakes even if they buy it from a jeweler. But luckily, there are some super easy ways to spot a fake Rolex. The first is the date bubble, it should be stretched out like this. But in many fakes, the text is more tightly together. Also, there should be lines on the watch hands. But on the fakes, they'll be very thick and bright. On the real ones, however, these will be discreet and not thick at all. These tips can not only help you never get scammed by a fake Rolex seller, but also catch out celebs who wear fake Rolexes too. Yeah, surprisingly, there's a lot of them. Next up is makeup. If there's one thing girls love spending money on, it's makeup. But makeup, especially from designer brands, can be very pricey. Sometimes people think they've found a bargain, but really it's just fake makeup. And unlike wearing a fake Rolex, wearing fake makeup can be dangerous. There have been people who have had their faces ruined by buying and wearing fake makeup by accident. Firstly, if lipstick has a line in it, this means it's been cheaply made in two parts, stuck together, and it will be fake. Another thing to look out for on MAC makeup is the M joining right, as fakes often get the design wrong. Also in makeup trays, the makeup should be smooth and flat. This is because it's made in a factory and is perfectly molded in place. However, fakes are usually done by hand, taken out of giant tubs of makeup. As a result of this, the makeup will not be smooth when you open it, and it will sometimes even look used. Stay away from any of these makeups if you don't want your face to get totally messed up. Next up is Yeezys. It seems today if Kanye West attaches his name to anything, it sells. And this couldn't be more true for Yeezys. While they only sell at retail for a few hundred dollars, they're resold online for thousands. But look around and the internet is riddled with people who were scammed buying fake Yeezys. Of course meaning they wasted thousands of dollars on nothing. But have no fear, if you don't want to get scammed by a fake Yeezy seller, then here's a few surefire tips. First off, the YZY marking on the felt patch should be blended in and not obvious like on the fakes. Also, the light patches on the patterning should follow a shape and not all go in one direction. The lines across the middle of the shoes should be cross-stitched and not randomly stitched together. And underneath all Yeezys is the classic Adidas foamy material. Inside most fake Yeezys, the area where you put your foot will be white and stitched in. But on the real deal, it's black, with another strip of black in a different material going down it. And finally, the back hanging part of the shoe should be positioned at an angle not in line with the rest of the shoe. If you guys are still buying fake Yeezys after knowing all these tips, there's something wrong with you. But to be honest, $2,000 for a shoe sounds like a scam to me, even if it is real. Next up is Beats. Beats are undoubtedly the most popular headphones of all time. Not only do they look cool, they were also made by one of the best rappers of all time. Apple bought them for $2.5 billion, but you can get a pair for around $200. However, because they're so popular, there's a lot of fakes out there. One way to spot fake beats is the plastic on the beats is matte. However, the plastic on fake beats will be glossy as it's cheaply made. Also, the holes where you insert your cables will be silver and not white or black like on the fakes. The metallic area around the iconic B will always be shiny and not just one block colour. Also, on the screw area, there should be no line by the screws. This simply means the screws are fake and just for show. Really, the metal's being glued together on the fakes which makes it very breakable and shoddy. And on newer beats, it no longer says by Dr. Dre. However, most fakes still say this, as they're left over from before. Also, don't be fooled by the boxes, as fake beat sellers often buy real boxes from eBay and then put fake beats inside. But in 2017, the Chinese police seized around 100,000 counterfeit beats that were being sold for full price. Now that's music to my ears. Next up is Converse. Converse are, and for years have been, the world's most popular shoe. 
and thanks to their popularity, there's a ton of fakes out there. However, Converse know this, so they add a few things to help you tell the reals from the fakes. There's a tiny dot on the left side of the original shoes. This isn't on the fakes as it's designed to show authenticity. Also on the real ones, the all-star writing will be printed in, while the fakes will have it cheaply made on the back. Another thing to look for is a fake label inside. If it's printed onto the shoe instead of stitched, it's a fake. Also make sure that when you buy Converse shoes, they're laced up. They're sold laced up, so if they've been untied, this means they're either fake or they've been tampered with. Either way, you shouldn't be buying them. Also, be sure to check the font of the Converse logo on the inside of the shoes. The font on fakes is often too boxy, and the star is in the direct center of the O. However, in the real shoes, the star is slightly lower down on the O. Converse is one of the most replicated shoes, so always be wary when you see one for a great deal. The phrase too good to be true may apply. Next up is chargers. Chargers are something we all need and use. People use them to charge their expensive and important technology. But buying a fake charger can be very dangerous as it could damage your expensive phones, laptops and tablets. If there's a line down where the chargers have been made, then it's likely fake. Famous brands don't use cheap materials, so avoid any glossy plastic or rubber. Instead, look for matte textures on chargers as they're more likely to be real. Also on the charging pins, if there's a layered area, this means they're fake as the product's been welded together in many different stages. If you need a Samsung charger, then make sure the USB is located on the bottom. This is hard to replicate, so many counterfeiters will simply put the USB on the side. These fake chargers can be dangerous as their voltage hasn't been checked or regulated before they're being sold. This has led to fires which have damaged people's homes. And in some case, the voltage sent so much electricity to a device that it simply broke it. So avoid any of these fake chargers to stop this ever happening to you. Coming up next is USBs. We've just seen how fake chargers can be so dangerous to you and your tech. Well, the same goes for your fake USB cables. Believe it or not, fake USB cables are far more common than fake plugs. You can spot a real USB iPhone charger by looking at the USB symbol on the wire. It should be small, discreet, and grey. But on the fakes, it's usually big and dark grey. Also, if there's no indentation in the place where you plug in your USB, then it's likely a cheap knockoff. Also, as the fake USBs are often made in China, the English writing is not well translated. There's often spelling mistakes and sometimes even missing words. The number one thing to look out for is where it should say designed by Apple in California. This is usually mistyped, which reveals your USB is fake. Where the USB plug connects, the gap should be tight, which is not on the fakes. And the color of the metal is always light. If it's dark, then it's likely made of cheap aluminum, and your USB is a fake. Next up is Chanel Bags. Chanel is a top designer brand that women all around the world love. They have a reputation for being very expensive and classy. And as a result, many women love showing off their designer Chanel bags on Instagram to the envy of their friends. But are these women just posting a bunch of counterfeits? The best way to tell is by looking at the stitching. When the bag is closed up, the stitching on the front flap should line up with the rest of the bag. If it doesn't, the flap was made separately and it's a badly made fake. If this is the case with a Chanel bag you see, don't buy it, as it will likely be a fraud. Coming up next, we have earphones. Apple earphones are pretty expensive for what they are, but this doesn't stop people from accidentally paying full price for fakes. They're not exactly very standout, so they're easy to replicate. But one way to spot a fake is that firstly the case should be white. However, most fakes use a cheaper cream plastic instead. And also the most crucial thing, the mesh on AirPods should be dark. If it's light enough for you to see the speakers inside, then it's a fake. The best bet here is to just bite the bullet and buy it from an Apple store. Or alternatively, you could get a different brand of headphones. Just preferably not fake Dr. Dre Beats. Next up is Gucci flip-flops. These flip-flops became massively popular after Future mentioned them in his song, Thought It Was A Drought. Since then, they've been somewhat of an icon in hip-hop. This has led to people spending $150 on a pair. But are these guys getting ripped off? Well, the answer is likely yes, and that's because of how many fake Gucci flip-flops are out there. One thing to look out for in fakes is the texture. Gucci flip-flops must not be too glossy, as this means they're fake and cheaply made. Many fakes are made of a foamy material, and while this may prove that Yeezys are real, it proves that Gucci flip-flops are fake. Also, on the side of the shoe, the word Gucci should be printed coming out. This is expensive to do on fakes, so they usually just print the word into the shoe. Follow these tips for the Gucci flip-flops and all the other tips in this video to never be scammed again or to catch out your friends. Check out the poll in the top right corner and you can vote for the best tip. I think it's the Rolex because there's some seriously good fakes out there that could trick you. This video shoutout goes to Josh Tanks Fusion. Subscribe and turn on notifications for a shoutout in our next video. But as always, thanks for watching. Check out some more videos on screen right now. Leave a like if you enjoyed and if you haven't already, what are you waiting for? Subscribe to Top 10s.